My name is Alyssa, and I am on a quest to ride every breed. There are hundreds of different horse breeds, and each one has their own unique story. So saddle up and join me on a ride to discover the horse. In this episode, we're going to meet up with a gated breed that has spots. Gated horses are known for their smooth ride, and they're a popular choice among trail riders and equestrians that have knee or back pain. Ten Mile Wakaloosas is an internationally recognized breeder that has been producing Wakaloosas for almost 40 years. A Wakaloosa is a horse with an Appaloosa coat pattern and a smooth four-beat saddle gait of some kind. Although many of the horses in the breed are Tennessee Walkers crossed with the Appaloosa, other gated breeds are also allowed, and some are even 100% Appaloosa. Only one in a hundred Appaloosas have the genetics and the confirmation to gait. Uh, there are a few out there. This particular horse is seven-eighths Appaloosa and an eighth walking horse. Wow. Carlene and Frank have two stallions that they stand at stud, and they have a few of their own foals each year. <laughs> He's playing. <laughs> Oh. oh, he's sticking so close to her, it's hard. He's gating, but it's hard to see because yeah. he's sticking so close to her. Oh man, this is so cool to see from such a young age. They use extensive DNA testing for gait and color. With all the genetic testing that's available now and that's affordable now, then we can really be selective about the choices we make so that we have the genetics and the confirmation for gating and that we get this loud Appaloosa color that everybody wants. It's like getting a secret map, I feel mm -hmm. like. Like you look at mm -hmm. it and you're like, what's in here? <laughs> it's funny, our lab, that's their motto is what's in your horse. Many of the foals will even change color as they age. This filly is bay but she has a copy of the LP gene and will look a lot different when she's older. And this mare is a favorite of our genetics lab because she's an example of extreme LP color shifting. She was born jet black with blanket spots. Then her coat got brown and her points stayed black so she looked very much like a dark bay. And then she started getting these orange spots. For us, we have found that the, the attributes that come in from the Appaloosa and then you combine that with the attributes that come in from uh, a gated horse breed, the combination of the two for us surpasses either breed, either breed alone. And we just, we fell in love with them 36 years ago. We've had a lot of luck and a lot of blessing to get where we are. And like Frank says, you're just living the dream. <laughs> And speaking of living the dream, it's time for my quest ride. This is Nakoda. He is a 19-year-old Wakaloosa gelding. He's just such a reliable horse. You can really tell he spent a lot of time just being out on the trail and having a lot of fun with his owner, Carlene. So it's just really neat to just be able to play around with him like this. He's the type of horse that you just want to spend all day riding. Thanks so much for riding along with me and discovering the Wakaloosa. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys at the next breed. Quill, it's your first Discover the Horse episode.